This video is brought to you by GawkBox.com. Tip your favorite streamers and YouTubers without having to spend a dime. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Evil Breed coming back at you guys with my newest World of Warcraft gold farm slash monthly farm slash token farm. So yes, we've been working on quite a few different things over the last few months on how to get World of Warcraft WoW tokens in the game and how to make enough money to get them with the littlest, the smallest amount of effort out there. I understand Trade Skill Master is a great way to do it. I've been watching a lot of videos about it. I might even install it on my laptop so that when I'm sitting at school for hours on end waiting for my roommate, I can screw around with Trade Skill Master. But to be perfectly honest, I'm working towards, as you guys know, those gold farms for people that have jobs, have lives, have a plethora of other games, have children, just don't have the time to do stuff like that. They, they can only play for like an hour a day. And that's where I'm going for. Now, what I've been doing for this most recent gold farm, guys, as you can see if I pop my inventory open, is you see one of my bags here is f almost full of emissary caches and these Legion Fall recompense bags from doing my dailies on the Broken Shore and doing my dailies out in the world. I've done this on my three main characters. My hunter, my rogue, and my monk, okay? All of them have a bag full of boxes, basically, like his is almost full, but he's got the the most emissary stuff here. Um, so, that's what I've been doing to show you guys, because as you can see on his gold, he's got 581 gold right now, he's got nothing. I cleared out all of his gold, I actually bought a token about halfway through the month with the gold that was left over from last month, but then I sent the rest of my gold from all my all my main three characters over to my warrior, who I'm now gearing up for Tomb of Sargeras. But my warrior is now carrying most of my gold. She's sitting at about 100k right now, and um, probably after opening all these boxes, I'll have more than enough to buy a World of Warcraft token if I wanted to. But let's go ahead. Let's get this started. The video is going to cut a few times because I'm basically going to switch between the characters and then finish it up on my warrior to show you guys the exact totals because I'm going to write down how much each character has and then give you a total. But we're going to start popping these bad boys open. Yes, it's like you can get legendaries and you can get other fun stuff like that. You're probably going to get a ton of you know, nether shards and order resources. If you're lucky, you'll get a legendary. Otherwise, you'll get, like, Dauntless tokens and things like that. I mean, most of the time when these Legion recompenses, they're not the greatest thing in the world. But as you can see, I got one Dauntless cloak, but I made almost two grand. Actually, about 1,900 gold just from the Legion recompenses, minus, of course, that. Uh, now let's go ahead and start opening these boxes. Now, Spoiled Sample is a quest item, uh, for those that don't know, that leads to the upgrade... For your legendaries, your legendaries can now shoot to 970. So, in order to start that, it used to be, it used to be, you had to have the spoiled sample. Um, they've since changed that. You can literally just go talk to the guy in Dalaran, and he gives it to you. You can get the spoiled sample though from your first one. You can get it from doing a random. As you see, it just disappeared off my screen because now it's writhing essence. Um, but we're just going to keep opening this stuff up, guys. I'm pretty sure none of this stuff's going to be an upgrade to me pretty sure but you know it's just money like that right there it's no it's close close no and then this is a cash which gave me gold coin and carrot on a stick wow that's garbage <laughs> I don't know why it gave me a carrot on a stick warded supply another carrot on a stick that's surprising Two curious coins from that one, though. That's not bad. Um, let's open the Nightfallen. Potion of Triton. Ooh, there we go. Too bad I already have it. Potion of Triton's a good one, guys. Potion of Triton's only gives you 50 gold per world quest, uh, world quest completed. My um, combat ally's already using one. He's using the Pouch of the Wonder. He's using Nightmare's End. And he's using Potion of Triton. So I get 150 gold per mission complete. Uh, Ferrandis. Carrot on a stick! What the hell is this? Why do I keep getting carrot on a stick? High mountain supplies! Carrot on a stick! What the... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Dude, what, did they put carrot on a stick in there? Just so... Oh, like, the necklace of memories! Woohoo! Look out! I guess they put more stuff in there so it seems like, you know, it, it's better. It's so stupid. 
I was like, I haven't gotten any of the mounts from those, by the way, guys. None. Like, some people, if my roommate got actually really lucky, he's gotten a bunch of mounts from them. I haven't gotten a single one. But we're almost done here. As you can see, though, I'm getting a bunch of Writhing Essence from these two guys. Um, I actually have completed the Writhing Essence quest before I even accepted it. So I'll be able to upgrade one of my legendaries when I'm done here, too. Uh, but as you can see... Sorry, I screwed up my angle there. I have 10,500 gold plus some junk items to sell. I'll fly down and sell those real quick so we can get a full total. I'll worry about the Writhing Essence later. Selling all the stuffs. All right, eleven thousand one hundred and one gold. Okay, so I'm writing that down on my pad here. So we got eleven thousand one hundred and one gold from Gibble Fritz. He started with about five hundred. So there you go. That's just from the boxes over the course of one week. Now, I'm, I, when I do say one week, I mean one week. Okay. So I farmed all of those in a week. So we're going to cut the video now. We're going to go to my rogue. And then when we go to my rogue, we'll pick it up. And we'll see how much money he's made. What's up, guys? We're back with my rogue gargle, as you guys can see here in the underbelly or the rogue's quarters. Basically, I'm just hanging out in each one of their class halls so that we can actually do these boxes. So we can see from the rogue, he's got a hex weave bag full of these. We're going to, of course, start with the Legion Recompense and open all those first. And see exactly what we've got. Same thing, he had about 500 gold to start. Actually, a little less on him. About 350 gold to start. But most of his boxes are actually just regular emissaries and Legion Recompense because he didn't have nearly as much reputation grind as my other character. But that's fine. He's also an enchanter, so he does sell quite a few enchanting materials and stuff like that. So all these tokens that I'm getting, the Dauntless stuff, I'm, if it's not an upgraded, then I'm going to DE it and put the shard on the auction house or... I'm going to um, see if it's an upgrade, you know, or make an enchant or something like that, you know. He, he, he works a little differently than my hunter, but whatever. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of this stuff's going to be an upgrade to him because his item level's pretty high, too. Yeah, it's all garbage. So, yeah, for him, I'd be it because technically the crystal is worth more than the actual raw item value, especially if you make it into an enchant or if you just sell them in a big stack. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the caches. Necklace of memories complete. Well, I don't actually, I don't know. He might be able to use that. So I'll wait on him. Curio, uh, Curio's garbage. Hey, he got a potion of Triton. Sweet. I need that on him. It's one of the best ways to farm gold, guys, honestly, is to utilize those potions of Triton and things like that. I should probably wait till I've opened them all up. 60 nope definitely not yeah see he's getting all his writhing essence too so it looks like you can make a ton of writhing essence guys from just doing your dailies wow two of the same hey there we go we just got a legendary uh curse the relentless soulbound back R restless blades reduces cooldown of curse the dread blades per combo point spent interesting interesting I mean, I'd have to change out one of his because he's currently rocking gloves and boots. And the gloves really aren't that great, so I might actually have to change those out because the cloak... He's wearing a PvP cloak, actually, which is funny. I got it from a world boss yesterday. Legion Season 4 Relinquished Warforged. An 890 cloak. It's really good, though, because it has leech, so it's a tough call. It's a tough call. We'll have to look into it, but it's cool. Like, legendaries are legendaries, so whatever. All right, so as you can see there, like I could save those gloves just to see. Because the boots are actually amazing. The boots increase your overall DPS. The gloves are... The gloves literally are only useful when I'm doing AoE. Its proc ability is for the first three seconds after activating Blade Fury. It does full damage to all targets. So for three seconds after I activate it, I get to do full damage to all targets. But it, that's only useful in, in AoE pulls. It's not a, useful in regular attacks. This, on the other hand, reduces the cooldown of Dreadblades so that I can continually use Dreadblades and just build free combo points back to back to back. That might actually be, you know, quite useful. The cloak looked kind of gay, though. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, guys, so we've opened his boxes. We got one Legendary, which is nice. And then 6,975 gold. 
All right, so we got one more character to do, and then we'll finish it up on the warrior with a total. All right, guys, now this is gold I've made over seven days just doing dailies, okay? This is not gold I'm making by farming the auction house or anything. It's just doing dailies. I haven't posted any auctions on my characters other than a few shards here or there on him. That's it. Like, I'm not farming out the auction house. So we'll see you for the next video, and, or the next segment, excuse me, and we'll uh, get a total gold after that. All right, guys, we're back for the third chapter here. As we can see, I am on my monk. He's currently chilling in his class hall, too. He's got mostly Legion Fall recompense because his reputation is really low on all of his factions. He actually hit 110 without even really doing any of the zones. So, as opposed to my hunter and my rogue, who had to do almost every zone in order to hit 110. They've since changed things since Legion came out, but that's okay. So, let's go ahead and start opening these boxes up. We'll see what we got. Once again, he had barely any gold to start as well. He had about 600 gold. Like I said, I cleared out almost all of their gold. I zeroed them down to less than 1,000 because I never zero out someone all the way down to zero because you never know if you're going to need it for something like flight paths or whatever. I mean, he can—he actually needs the class hall resources too, which is nice because I haven't finished up his, uh, re his reputation grinds yet. So we've got one Dauntless token there. That's not bad. And I am leveling him hard tank right now, so... Or gearing him hard tank. Yeah, see, Potion of Triton. As you can see, those are garbage. So this just pop them open. Shoulders, probably garbage. Face mask, probably garbage. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure everything's not... I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah, see, those gloves are almost an upgrade funny to say um all right so yeah as you can see here opened up his boxes he didn't make nearly as much as my other two but that's also he had quite a few less than the other two he's sitting at 5184 gold uh we're gonna sell on him unlike my hunter where i didn't or no, sorry my rogue where i didn't sell is because i'm gonna disenchant but i'm not counting that towards the overall gold farm because not everyone's an enchanter so look at it like that i mean he still had all those those items left but that's because they're going to be de'd all right um, my hunter and my monk, well, they can't DE the items, so they're just going to sell them back to the, the vendors and call it good. All right, so there we go. He's got 5,433 gold. Okay, so we've got the monk's total. The monk probably had the least, but he is my tertiary uh, main because I am... He is a tank, but I am working on more so my warrior to be a tank for Tomb of Sargeras, only because... Warriors are more main tankish as opposed to Brewmaster Monks, which are more off tankish. I mean, gear, gear aside, I mean, in great gear, you can be in main tank. It doesn't matter what you are. But gear aside, I mean, I'm just starting out, you know. But anyway, so, yeah. Also, my warrior is actually in a, 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 a raiding guild. He's not even in a guild. So, that is that. We're going to jump on the warrior then with the final cut of the video. I'm actually not even going to stop the video, guys. I'm just going to let it play out so that we can get a full total and see where we're at because as you can see right here we got 11,100, 6,900 and 5,400 I'm just rounding the totals down so we're gonna bump that one up to 17,000, 18,000 and basically 23,400 okay so you got 23,400 gold she's got a little bit that I sent over from my rogue right before I ended so she's sitting at 100, 101,985. Let's just round that up since it's only 15 gold shy of 102,000. So she's sitting at 125,000 gold, give or take. So 125K, and that's over the course of one week of doing dailies, doing class hall missions, and opening boxes. Okay, that's not farming auction houses. That's not doing anything else. That's just doing dailies. And if I pull up the... Wow token right now, I'm at 132. So technically, I'm only 8,000 gold shy of a World of Warcraft Wow token at this point from one week of grinding on three characters and then doing my class hall missions on five characters. So my class hall missions, I don't even actually log on the characters to do them. All I do is just do it on the Legion uh, companion app. It's so much easier, and it's just less, less of a pain in the ass. But as you can see there, though, 
just from a week, I've gotten almost enough money on three characters to pay for a World of Warcraft token. So it's more than viable. You don't actually have to be an auction master in order to pay for your game time, okay, guys? You don't have to grind for an entire month in order to pay for your game time either. One week, and you guys can do it, give or take. Let's just say a week and a half to two weeks. So half of the month while playing the game. Because, I mean, you are playing it at that time. You know, you're, people say, oh, you're just grinding. No, but you're playing it. I mean, you're going to the Broken Shore. You're doing your dailies. You're running the raids. You're running your Dungeon Finder every day. You're doing exactly what you would do to play the game. Like, as you can see, she hasn't even visited it today. Because I, don't, I, don't, I haven't run her dailies yet. Like I said, I'm gearing her up to be a tank. As opposed to the other characters where they're kind of just sitting on the back burner for now. My hunter, he's my gold farmer. You know, I don't really care about raiding on him, even though he's got my highest item level. But her, I'm trying to get her well past 900 so I can take her into Tomb of Sargeras. And people go, oh, you don't need that for Tomb of Sargeras. Well, you do if you haven't raided any actual content in a long time. So, that being said, guys, um, there will be actually be a new uh, video for uh, top DPS right now for Tomb of Sargeras, top five. So I will actually have that edited, uploaded, and probably out sometime next week. This video is going to be coming out on Friday, which today is Thursday the 29th. It will be out Friday the 30th, end of the month. That way you guys can literally see at the end of the month how much, uh, how much I've done and how much is going on. As you can see, they're running to, uh, too much Sargeras normal already. So, yeah, but that's why I need to get her geared up. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, guys, please go ahead and check out my Gawk Box link. Gawk Box. <laughs> There'll be a big picture above me to show you guys, but a Gawk Box is a new sponsor of mine. You'll actually see probably an intro. You probably saw an intro at the beginning of the video saying, you know, this video is brought to you by Gawk Box. They're a really awesome sponsor. You can tip your favorite streamers, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, all, all that fun stuff without actually having to spend any money. You literally download apps on your phone. You play mobile games for 30 minutes to an hour. If you enjoy them, of course, keep them on your phone or your tablet, whatever. And if you don't, whatever, move on to the next one. That's just how it works but if you play a game for a few minutes you will tip your favorite streamer by doing that and it's 100 percent payout to the actual streamer the youtuber and all them instead of them taking a huge cut you get a 100 percent payout guys so it's really awesome definitely look into that check my gawk box out uh, make sure if you want to help me out and help me become more of a you know mainstream youtuber and streamer uh, check out my patreon link down below and feel free to add me to Battle.net. I say to everyone, I will add you to Battle.net, and I will help I mean, help you. I'll play with you. I don't care. You know, I've got a bunch of people on Battle.net, and I love to play with them all. So um, thank you guys all so much, and everybody have just a great, great day.